Okay, I'm gonna set my timer for 10 minutes, like I mentioned for the warm up. We're gonna start right side, single leg glute bridge. So I want you to drive your heel into the ground, squeeze your glute, and we're gonna take just a little half second pause at the top. We'll do 30 seconds on that right heel, then we'll switch to the left, okay? There's that little pause, and coming back down. Make sure your head, your shoulders, are all relaxed on the ground. So if you're with me on my timer, we have just under 15 seconds before we switch. All right, we're gonna switch in three, two, and one. Same thing with that little pause at the top. Just about 15 seconds to go on this side. Five seconds, so she give you about two more reps. One more, and then on to the next one. We're gonna go up dog into down dog. So flip over on your mat, drop the hips to the mat, bring the chest up, take a second here. You can even look over your right shoulder, look over your left, and then press back into downward dog. We're gonna cycle through that for the next 30. Go one more, and then we can bring the right leg forward into that world's greatest stretch. If your hips feel tight, take a second there to open up the hip, bring that elbow to the ground, and then as you rotate up, follow your arm with your eyes. 30 seconds here, so about 15 seconds left before we hit that other side. Up with the knee or down is totally up to you. I find if my hips are really tight, the knee up just gives me a little bit extra. Okay, we're gonna switch. So left leg forward, and then same thing here. This is my tight side, so I always take an extra second here. Nice, about 10 seconds. We're gonna move to alternating shoulder tap. Awesome, so let's hit that high plank position. Make sure the wrists are right underneath the shoulders, feet a little bit wider, and then driving the same side foot into the ground as you raise the arm. Minimal movement in through the hips, squeezing the belly button in. Halfway. Awesome, one more each side. And now we're coming into our 20 second intervals. So we're gonna start into that quad stretch, coming up on the toe, alternating. Don't worry if your balance is a little off. You'll warm up and we'll get primed. Awesome, coming into hamstring swings, alternate, bring that foot up. I like to come up on my toe and I take three little steps in between sides. Awesome, one more each side. Coming into forward lunge, with a twist. So come into that lunge, twist over that front knee, step back, alternate. You can try keeping that knee off the ground as well if you need a little extra quad stretch. Awesome, we're gonna come into overhead squat with a little bit of tempo. So especially if you're tight, make sure your feet are a little bit wider than your hips. Turn those toes out, arms come up, thumbs point back, we move slow down, we hold, we move slow up. Excellent. I'm starting to get warm, so I certainly hope I'm not the only one. Nice, 20 seconds. Till the end of the five minute mark here, 
We're gonna do one more and then drop into mountain climbers here. All right, keep pushing your pace. 10 seconds. We're coming up in high knees now. So nice like jog on the spot. Bring the knees up as high as you can. Ten seconds. Butt kicks coming up in three, two, one. We're gonna take the heels to the glutes. Halfway. Ten seconds of moving the squats. Excellent step, feet wider than the hips. Nice tempo here. Halfway. Of course, you guys are going to go at your pace. Five seconds. We got warm up herpes. Chest to the deck. All the way up. Halfway. One more here. And then we're gonna find our mats. We're gonna hit right side plank, 30 seconds, and then the left. Make sure the hips are stacked. This hip tends to fall back, so try to bring it forward. Halfway. Then one more side. Again, make sure your shoulder is always stacked over your elbow and the chest stays open. All right, let's switch. I'm gonna move my mat so I can see you guys. Awesome, and then 30 seconds here. You should feel your heart rate coming down already. Hopefully you're sweating already too. Ten seconds to go, and then we can get ready for the workout. Three, two, and one. Perfect. What's popping, studio fam? Online, virtual, everyone social distancing. Isolated by yourself. All right, we are doing a dumbbell workout. So grab your dumbbells or a kettlebell if you got it. All right, we'll be doing some modifications if you have that instead. But we are attending this for dumbbells. So grab them if you have them. First thing, make sure that you have enough space around you, in front of you, and a timer for the finisher. We're doing a four minute finisher after we do three rounds of the first workout. Okay, first workout is. Dumbbell, lateral lunge into a curl. Big step to the side, stand up, curl. All right, I'll scoot back so you guys can see the full thing. Big step, toes are pointing forward and nice and square. Dumbbells go in between the legs, stack your toe, knee, and hip. Strong stand back to top, curl, all right? I'll show you the side angle. Make sure the knee doesn't come over the toe. We're gonna go scoot back, chest comes over the knee. All right, back is nice and flat. Strong push back to center. I'll demonstrate one more time. Boom, and I'm going to alternate legs. Lateral lunge, curl. Lateral lunge, curl. You got 10 of those, so five per side. Ideally, you alternate so one side doesn't get more tired than the other. Okay, so five per side. 
Then we're going to bend over into an RDL, it stands for Romanian deadlift. So slight bend in the knees, feet are right into the hips. Slide bend in the knees, squeeze the shoulder blades back, hinge at the hips, right past the knee, roll to the shoulders, come back up. Okay? We're doing a 45 degree angle, so not neutral grip and not perfectly to the side. 45 degree in the hands, shoulder blades back, row, come back up. Row, you got 10 of those, all right? 10 total, last one is a Russian twist. Maybe both feet are on, are off the ground. Hold the dumbbell where you're like parallel. Rotate side to side, keeping our chest up, back is flat. Okay, if your weight is a little too heavy, you can go feet on the ground or you can go no weight. Double tap the ground with both hands. 20, so 10 per side. 10 lunges and a curl. 10 RDL to row. And then 10 rushing twists per side, 20 total. We're doing three rounds of that. And then take a break. If you need a break, Rest after a full set, not in between movements. So bang on all three movements, rest, get to the second and third set. Got it? All right guys, good work on those three rounds of Row, curl, RDL, and Russian twist. All right, next, get your phone or clock, computer, whatever, microwave, kitchen timer. You got four minutes, so set a clock for four minutes. We're doing the AMRAP, which stands for as many reps or rounds as possible. For four minutes, AMRAP, four minutes. So you're gonna grab your dumbbells. We got two movements. All right, we got a renegade row. Same thing, I like 45 degrees at the dumbbell. Nice wide stance for uh, balance. Don't let the hips rotate. Row right to the armpit. You're going five per arm. Okay, five of those. I'll show you sideways. Make sure you're stacking the shoulders right above the wrist. Nice wide stance. Okay, keep the core engaged. Squeeze the glutes. Don't let the hips rotate. Engage the core the whole time. Ten of those. When you're done with your ten, five per arm. We're going to the double dumbbell hand snatch. All right, so we just squeeze back like a parallel swing. Slide back the knees. Use your momentum. Finish. With the arms locked, head forward, core is squeezed, right? Don't let the back arch. Good. Ten of those. Right in two, running in row. As many rounds as possible. You have ten reps, five per arm. Okay? Ten total hang snatch. It's a lot on the grip and forearms. Challenge yourself, let's bang it out. Four minutes as hard as you can go, then you're done. Good work, studio.